everyone, Louie Farm Guy here with another new mod for Wednesday, August 24th, and it's the Cavernland Stone Fork Pack by John Deere 2450, 6.67 megabytes to download. Uh, these are, I don't know how many slots on console, I forgot to check. Um, we'll, we'll check that later, uh, and the uh, we'll let you know, it can't be too much. Uh, what are these? Well, these are interesting, a uh, couple of interesting units. We have one for a front loader, and we have one for a three-point link. Right, so ha let's have a look at it where we find it. First of all, uh, the um, the first one we're going to find under stone pickers. And there it is, the Stone Fork 180. This is a three-point link attachment. Uh, says 50 horsepower, 1.8 meters wide, and uh, 1,400 liters. So uh, we could the uh, configurations: old style, new style, modern decal, decals, decals. Yeah. Uh, color: uh, red or green. Now, where's the other one? The other one's actually under front loader tools. There it is, Stone Fork 160, uh, 1100 uh, capacity, 40 horsepower, 200 kilograms, 1.6 meters wide, uh, $1,100. Same, uh, same options as you can see here. Now, if we go back in there, you notice it uh, shows more than rocks. And that's because these, its alter ego is basically a forage... Uh, or like a manure fork, it can pick up, uh, if we go back again, look at it again, sorry, manure, uh, uh, grass, hay, straw, chaff, wood chips, silage, stones, potatoes, and beets, there we go. Uh, so, uh, let's, uh, well, let's, uh, while we're here, Uh, this is the front loader, so you can use it as a silage fork, manure fork, like so. Works just like that. Very nice. And also, uh, the other, the uh, the three-point link one, it's not going to, uh, uh, let's get that. It's not going to be able to, um, let's see, will it? Pick up. There we go. Uh, not quite as uh, not quite as n easy to load. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, yeah. Anyways. Okay. So <laughs> the uh, the loading fork just works as it. We'll show that in the field picking up stones in a moment. Uh, this one has a few different ways. Uh, L1, you can uh, lower it or raise it by the circle. Um, turning it on, that's the stone picker mode. We will show that in a second. But L1 and right stick up and down. Down, uh, up is down and down is up, kind of like flight controls. And left and right tilts it left and right. And that's it for... Oh, you can unload. Yeah, that's where... Yeah, so how do you unload <laughs> when you got something in there? Uh, L1 and R1 and triangle, and it'll do that. Hmm, awkward looking, is it not? Right, okay, so. Let's let's go off to, well, let's start with this one. Uh, so it's turned on, L1 and turned off. So if you turn it off, it's just a silage fork. But if you turn it on, notice, and you put it down, it does that. Also, it has a really neat sound effect. Here, it's, uh, I think you, could sh you should be able to hear it like a bunch of rocks dropping in a bucket, basically. Now, if there's a downside, there's always a downside. Uh, a worker will not do this out there. I'm going to press the worker, hire the worker, open worker menu, and yeah, nothing. So that's an X-nay with the worker, say. 
Um, the three-point link actually is quite a bit easier to use as a stone picker. Uh, you can't hire a worker either, but as you can see, L1 uh, X turns it off, t turns it off, off. You don't doesn't do anything. Turning it on, you can notice it's changing the ground. It looks it basically leaves a cultivated state, and as you drive forward, you can drive uh, basically as fast as you want, picking up stones. Like so. So, kind of a neat little, uh, like I say, you can't hire a worker, but you can drive really fast. So, you could probably clear a small field in fairly decent order um, a time. And, um, and what, how much was this one again? Yeah, stone pickers. Uh, yeah, 1600 bucks. So, really cheap alternative if you just have a few rocks. Uh, in your field and you don't have that much that big of a field or a small field and you want to clear it You can do that now. Let's see. I do believe the unload here Yeah There we go. So what happens if I want to pick those up again? I can uh, If I turn it off will it let me pick it up better. Hmm. No. Yeah, a little awkward picking up stuff off the ground. There we go. If you turn it on, then you'll be able to pick it up mostly. Kind of. Inch by inch. Let's see. Let's dump it. And get the uh, get the front oh get the front loader. There we go. Get the front loader over there, and see if he'll pick it up easier off the ground. If not, then you we got to use just a normal shovel, I guess. But we're here, and we're might as well test it out. Oh, look at that! So with the front loader one, it's very easy to pick up and dump just like you would a normal bucket a normal bucket that picks up stones and works as a silage fork as well and there you go that is your Kverlin stone fork pack by John Deere uh, 2450 6.67 megabytes to download and slots yes <laughs> Uh, slots are uh, two slots for the uh, front loader and uh, two slots for the well the two slots for the two slots each there you go I'm only farm guy and remember it's only a game so till next time bye for now.